Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Football Manager 2018 playthrough. With me, a host, Lucky Marine, where we started as KV Mechelen, and we are still at KV Mechelen. Uh, we uh, we did really well in our first season, like really, like shockingly well. Um, well, yeah, yeah, I can't, you know, we had, we had some we had some lucky results. Uh, we uh, had a few people that came in and made the difference, i.e., Guiaf Rossi. And uh, yeah, we're into our second season. We actually qualified for the Champions League last time around. Actual Champions League proper, not qualifying stuff for it. But here we are against Muscron in the Super Cup. It could be our first silverway of the season. Won our first game against Standard 2-1 after going a man down very, very early. Uh, Galan, I think you've already seen this. It should be up already, but I'll, I'll go through it again. I'll go through it. Um, between the last episode and this episode, I had a power cut, so... I'll have to remind myself of what was going on. Angelina, our new left-back. Mavidi, cross... Yeah, Gavin, uh, Galan just did everything right there. If the ball's over here, you want to be drifting across to that post if it's the other way you, you drift it to the nearest post so that you can get your foot on it uh, they then pulled one back in the 80th minute I was waiting for something like this I was waiting for them to pull one back we got they gone to 3-4-3 uh, we'd been a man down for the entire game at this point not entire game from 17 minutes is this this is a long build up to their goal but it does show you that I mean not whilst not being dominant we were we're certainly not uh, we didn't really feel the lack of an extra man but it was coming it was coming you can't you can't have a man sent off <clears throat> And we didn't have a proper right back to put into uh, Tomachuk's position. But then Mavidi, four minutes afterwards, four minutes, I was like, well, if we, we get a, a draw against Standard, I will be fine with that. And then this happened. And it was good. A little bit unwarranted, perhaps. But first to react. I still think the keepers... This rendition of Football Manager need a little bit of work. We we did end up profiting from that, however. It wasn't wasn't the best goal, but we're on our way. Two one win over Standard, and I arranged a friendly uh, with Juventus in the period between our games against Vas, Land, Beveren, and Muscron. Uh, it's going to bring in about two hundred and thirty, like two hundred thirty thousand which should help so oh tom shock is uh is suspended for league games this is yeah he, he, he can play here he can play in this game that's fine i think we'll just use yep we'll just use what we had last time at Mavidi, Galan, Gustavo. Who are we going to be uh, leaving out? Lucas, but we do have Simon Garner. Who we can bring on. I'm going to have to loan one of them out. Um, we'll just have to identify who's the better. Carl Soto, I have had a bid from him. From Reims. Uh, for a loan. Again, um, Reims has better facilities than us, and they're going to play him quite often. And he, he will benefit from first team football. Good. Although, I did want to get rid of this unambitious before he went and get his determination up. I might say no to that, actually. He's currently being tutored by Ritz, who is fairly professional, even if he just loses unambitious. 
So in fact, even though that's a even though that's a decent call alone. I'm gonna stop it until he's uh, until we've we've modified him. Where is he? Soto. Let's cancel that. Sorry, Rams. Tactics. And I might put him on the bench actually. Put him on the bench for Elias. And there we go. We'll submit that team. Carl Soto can have the number 33. And uh, we'll see if we can bring him on. Although Muscron, they have been quite dangerous. They're going with Youngster up front, 17 years old. Uh, quite good for a 17 years old, actually. Got all the things in the right places. Lighthearted, which it's all right. It's all right. He'll get in well with the uh, the social groups, like jovial, light-hearted, that kind of thing. They uh, they do well in social groups. Pick up where you, pick up where you left off last time, and let's go. Why is nobody here? Why is where's all our traffic cones? Oh no, this isn't our. If there's a corner, yeah, it is. If the, I was going to say if there's a corner. Uh, stand there, then that's our stadium. So why are we playing the Super Cup in our stadium? Wouldn't it be in a neutral venue? I'd have thought it'd be in, in a neutral venue. Mm -mm. Anyway, VD all the way through the gap. Galan couldn't miss, does miss. What a twat. Yeah, Galan, um, he's just... He's a little bit more... He's, he's been around the game for a while. Um, as soon as I saw the the polygon shape that he had to his profile, I knew that that was the type of striker that we needed in. And he came in for free, and he didn't want astronomical wages. Uh, we could have got better quality players through the door, but you were talking 11,000 a week, 15,000 a week, and we just couldn't support that. Which was unfortunate. Uh, the, but with the amount of debt that we're in, or the amount of debt that we were in, um, and it just makes it a little bit more interesting um, having to run the club almost as a business. So for the first few seasons, this club is going to be a selling team. Getting loads of cheap youngsters, develop them up. Well done, Gustavo. That was a decent shot. Uh, develop them up and uh, sell them on. However, we are going to have to uh, be wary of not falling foul of X amount of Belgians being in the, the first team squad. So, how are we getting on? We're doing alright. We've had four shots to the one. Possession is fairly even. We've had one click at chance. Gustavo. Oh, it's corner. I thought it was uh, everything was slowing down for a penalty. Why wouldn't they sit together? Wouldn't they kind of group up a little bit? Wouldn't we have shut like the upper level and tried to fill out these stands? Less stewarding costs. I'd like to see. I'd like to see things like that. <clears throat> A little bit of reality, a little bit of real world into the football manager. Like we've decided to... Wow, Panna gets his first goal for the club. And it was... Uh, it was quite special. <laughs> Left foot top corner. Angelino. Goes long, Gustavo heads on. And Panna just has to put his foot through that ball. And... Uh, and not get too carried away. Kept it on target. Well done. Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more realism. Um, they they brought a decent amount of fans. So yeah, um, maybe a, a pop up before a game or a couple of days before a game saying we we don't envisage that we'll fill out the stadium. Do you want to close X, Y, and Z stands 
in order to save X amount of money um, at the at the cost of maybe getting it wrong and not having enough stands open. That would be good. I'd like to see more on the financial side. What game was it? What game was it where you could dabble in the uh, stock market? I think it was FIFA Manager or something. I don't know. But <clears throat> maybe not to that extent. Although I still do stand by. I think the, uh, the industry has missed a trick. I mean, there's Football Manager, but I think there should be Football Chairman where it's it's focused around a life and you the business that you decide to, to get into and then from that business you, you buy a football team according to how much money you have at the time and if your business grows and you can put more money into your, your football and bring in a better manager and release more funds for that manager to bring in better players and you know, you've got different chairmen that chairmen that have different approaches to the game. Some are very hands-on and want the players that they have scouted out and bought, or you know, they want them playing, and they have a a grip on tactics and things like that. And then there's some chairmen that just give it all to the manager and say, "Well, get on with it." I think that needs to be a game. That would be cool. We've done all right. We have done it. I know I've waffled all the way through that first night, first half, but we've done all right. Not brilliant. Just don't get complacent out of there. And let's go. I say not brilliant, but they've only had one shot. I think the only reason why we haven't gone, uh, we haven't jumped up to to brilliant status, is because we haven't converted both goalie cup chances but it's super cup first chance at silverware will make people happy what is that that was poor you should have fed it through panna through um not panna who is it i don't know any of our players now i know panna who's the other one got like gal galan galan there we go pan panna and galan should have fed, fed through Gallon. He was in a decent space there. Found a bit of a of a gap between the two centre backs. Thankfully, the seventeen year old striker couldn't quite get on goal. Right, sixty minutes. I think I'm going to swap out our strike team. I don't think Gooseman has had a save to make. He's thrown himself around a little bit, but no saves. Right, let's let's change for some youngsters. Let's have Soto on for Ritz. And let's have you in your advanced playmaker role. Panic and drop back a little bit. So an advanced playmaker support, you can be advanced playmaker. No, not having both advanced playmakers then. You can be deep lying support. Uh, Busquets can come on for Patrick. Deep lying playmaker defend. I'm going to swap you to. No, I'm not. Could have you on attack a little bit more. There, so we'll do that. <clears throat> Two youngsters come on in a super cup. I know my VD's looking very nervous, but he'll be alright. He's only 20 years old. English, I think it's the first Englishman that's uh, come to the club. And obviously, being, uh, being from the British Isles, not one for learning languages. So everyone's speaking for and around him. I'm not surprised he's a little bit nervous. I see him. Who says Eduardo? Eduardo, even. That's coming in, done uh, good work there. I 
and retoss his first of that. And we'll mop up. Still have not had a shot on target. Gooseman still hasn't been tested. Angelino inside to Vitas. To Lisa Wada who lumps it forward to Mavidi. You could have done a lot more with that. You could have done a lot better. You could have fed in Galan. Galtan? Galan? I think it's Galtan. I will learn names. Honest. I'm terrible at learning names. Like in real life. Because if I'm not going to know that person for a. if it's our first meeting, then I like to uh, like to have met them for a few times. I like them to be a regular in my life before I bother learning their names. Tom Chuck, long and uh, movie, he just gets muscled out a little bit. My brain can't cope with, uh, with learning too many people's names. Soto out to Pana, that was a, yeah, that was a de decent option. Still with no shots on target. I'm going to go for... I'll bring on Garner for Angelino. He's looking a little bit tired. Let's keep the... Uh, Tom Trick's looking tired as well. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get some fresh legs in positions where fresh legs are needed. I said, what are you going to get the first? You are. Inside to Vitas, he has all the time in the world to pick out nobody. Offside. Offside? Yep. Alright, he's just gone on. Added an extra T in there. Plan to Gustavo to Soto. Decent pass to Mavidi. Back to Gustavo. Out wide. Out wide to Tom Track. First ball in. First time in. And smashed low by Mavidi into the bottom corner. You don't save those. Yeah, he started the move. Busted a gut to get onto the end of. Yeah. Their defense stood off our defense. Uh, stood off our attack. Uh, thankfully. Timbuktu's cross was exquisite. If we get to the end of this game and we've limited them to zero shots on target, I will be a little bit shocked. Muscron, Muscon, Mus, Muscron, Muscron are a uh, a dangerous game, a dangerous game, a dangerous team. They caused us no end of problems last season. I think they even finished a second. So yeah, not a pushover by any stretch of the imagination. Although last season they did have um, quite a few effective lone players. It made me laugh. But, oh, he's going to get it again, isn't he? I thought, I thought that was going to be it again. Um, sniff, sniffing around the goal for easy. Sniffing around uh, the goalkeeper for easy goals. Yeah, uh, last season they uh, they loaned in good players from the likes of Standard and Anderlecht and ended up beating them both. I thought that was funny. About seven minutes left. And back out for a corner. Who have we got? Have we got left footed? Gustavo, yeah. Why do we have Gustavo there? Who have we taken off that's meant to be right footed Ritz? Yeah, Ritz is a. Uh... Yeah, Angelino is a. Uh... No, he's not. Angelino's the, the corner taker on the other side with his left foot. I don't know, I'm going to have to put some more, more people in the corner taking boxes. If your first choice and second choice, if your first choice um, corner taker isn't even on the pitch, and maybe your second choice gets taken off as a sub, suddenly the game will decide to put in whoever they want. There should be an option box to say, if not this person or this person, just make sure it's a left-footed person, or just make sure it's a right-footed person. 
just so that it doesn't mess your uh, your corner tactic up because the difference between an inswinger and an outswinger can make all the difference and that is us ladies and gentlemen 2-0 win <clears throat> over well, must run I expected a harder match than that I didn't know that my suit why are we walking like John Wayne I don't know um, I didn't realize that my suit matched the team I do now when we were celebrating on the little podium I blended in really well is that the cup? Why am I carrying the cup? It's from the captain. And there's Pano with his bright blue boots. Well done, guys. Done well there. Showing the cup off to... I was going to say the crowds, but it's not really crowded, is it? Let's go with the very happy. Just keep the uh, morale up. We'll uh, pander to their giant egos. That will do. European Champions Cup, this is the uh, the first qualifier. I did look through for a Belgian team, but couldn't see any. So I don't know where, I don't know how many teams qualify for Europe and which bit they slot in. But they don't slot into uh, the qualifying, qualifying phase, which is odd. See, for 16,000, uh, great. Won the Super Cup, I think that's the first time we've ever, we've ever won it, isn't it? Mavidi, yeah, he did well. As soon as I saw this, he was a little bit old. I say a little bit old. Um, but by 20, I, I like my strikers to be a little bit more developed than this, especially in the attacking. But everything is there, everything's ready, everything's set for just. He just needs game time he needs regular game time and a decent training setup which we kind of we, we do sort of have I mean we've got really good staff just because I know what to look for in a coach um, our facilities aren't brilliant but they're not terrible so we leave them to glory yet again Good stuff. Good stuff. And it wasn't a, a hard match, really. It wasn't a hard match by any stretch of the imagination. So, uh, a little bit surprised there. I'm not going to praise his form. Last time we praised his form, he uh, he was a little bit angry. <laughs> For reasons unknown. Redneck moving to lock on. Moving to look on, looking to move on. I'll manage of Muscron, that's unfortunate. Looking to move on, as in just move on from this result or actually leave management. Oh no, no, just move on from the result. Okay, that's fine. Didn't realise that Boone's contract caught talks. Yeah, I didn't realise that the manager of Belgium is Roberto Mantini. Anyway, I looked through the squads because uh, we're lacking in Belgian talent, shall I say. We look in the under 19s. Uh, there we go. Zeno van Hoosden of Inter, uh, who now, if we transfer, oh, I already, uh, I already inquired, but. Essentially, Tottenham want him. Yeah. And they wouldn't release him. They wouldn't allow him to go out on loan because of his first team commitments. So, yeah. As soon as I got him in on loan, I said this is going to be a world class defender if he keeps on developing as he is. I went to the under 19s. This guy is on a free. He doesn't play where we need him to play, but if we can bring him in. Maybe send him out on loan. It's all about uh, it's all about the process, isn't it? Bring them in, developing them, selling them off for a profit. And he wants not much. Well, how about not that? Remove and exclude. You can have 
relegation release clause because it's probably never going to happen. Team of the year because it's probably never going to happen. How about that? Six hundred fifty pound a week. Nineteen year old attacking midfielder uh, left pretty much. With yeah, go on then. Determination is a little bit low, but yeah, tricky winger. Not that we use wings, but we'll probably end up loaning them out. Now I'm going to leave this here, probably until our first European game, and bring you back for that. Ah, no. For who? Oh, this guy. Armenian. Yeah. Yeah, they can have him. Nineteen years old, but I can't I can't see him. I can't see him making an impact. No, they can have him. Yep. Schedule. Uh, I'll bring you back for this game until unless something untoward happens. Um i.e. we get taken over or we lose all these games and we need a win against Circle Bruges or something like that, I don't know. But I'll find out who we uh, we get in the group stages. Hopefully well, there'll be at least one, one poor team that we can pick up um, good points against and then it's just going to be uh, battling against probably two teams that are going to far, far and away outclass us. But for every single game, I think we get about 100,000 for every single game, even if we lose it. And I think you get a lump sum of something like 6.5 million just before you, you start the group stage. So either or, either way, qualifying for Europe this season has probably cleared our debts. So if you crash out of the group, the uh, group stages, I am, I'll be fine, absolutely fine with that. So I've been looking, as always, you lot have been amazing. Join me next time for Champions Group Stage game. Until then, do take care.